My name is Matthew Heinemann. I'm the director of The First Wave. The First Wave is a documentary about the first four months of COVID in New York City. As the first cases of COVID started to be reported in the U.S., I wanted to try to put a human face to it. And so I reached out to hospital systems all across the country and then finally got access to a hospital in Queens in my hometown in New York. If you look at all the films I made, if there's one through line, it's, it's sort of taking big amorphous topics, the drug war, ISIS, human smuggling, a new film that I'm making about in Afghanistan, trying to personalize it, trying to take something that's, that's big and really hard to grasp and make it intimate and relatable. The fact that we're so shielded from what was happening inside hospitals, I think allowed misinformation to fester. It allowed, you know, a lot of conspiracy theories and other things to happen, which further polarized this issue. If we saw these images earlier on, it might have changed the national discourse. If you look back on wars throughout history, and people often referred to COVID with sort of war-like terminology, doctors on the front lines, nurses on the front lines, those images, those stories inform public discourse. But we weren't seeing that. I felt even more responsibility in telling the story given the access that I had. We filmed the first wave predominantly on the C-300 Mark II and the C-500 Mark II. I can't honestly imagine using a different camera, just given the compact nature of it. The look of this was really important to me. I want my films to feel cinematic, and every single frame, every single pixel, every single sound in this film was debated about, was contemplated, was argued about, especially in the edit room. I want my films to be seen by everybody. That's to me the value of, of film, is to generate conversation, and I, and I truly hope that this film does. It's likely the most important story I'll ever tell.